All right, so for the past two weeks, some people have maybe enjoyed, maybe some of you have been annoyed by the hum of the cicadas overrunning parts of Metro Atlanta. Let's get straight to the chief. He joins us right now to let us know just how long they're going to be sticking around this time. You know, we've got about two more weeks to go before we see the end of the cicadas here in our area, which means we're about halfway finished with the above ground life cycle of this particular cicada emergence. I went on a cicada safari out at Rock Eagle between Madison and the Eatonton area with one of Georgia's top entomologists to find out what to expect next. It's part of a 13 year cycle for this particular great southern brood. The cicadas grow underground for 13 years, then emerge just to make the next generation of cicadas. They're coming up for six. That's right, they grow underground, sucking on tree root sap for all of those years, only to live above ground for about a month. They come out of these holes around very old hardwood trees. There's another. They shed their skin, then they crawl or fly to the top of trees to grow their population. The males sing to attract the females. They mate. The males pretty much then die. The females go find a tree limb that they can lay their eggs in. They stick their little egg-laying device right under the bark. They lay their eggs under the bark. Then the females die. Can you hear it? That hum is the sound of the males singing. To me, the sound sounds like a background noise. It's a hum a soft roar. It's very soothing to me. I love it, but I can understand if you have a lot of cicadas calling and you're very close to them, perhaps it could be annoying. That hum will start to disappear soon. The peak of this cicada emergence was on Mother's Day weekend. We're beginning to see more and more dead male cicadas on the ground now. They typically fall out of the tops of the trees after breeding. Now the females are laying their eggs. The eggs will hatch in about a month. The little babies will then fall to the ground, burrow into the soil, find a tree root, attach their mouth parts, start sucking tree sap, and they'll live like that for almost 13 years. Then in 2037, those cicadas will emerge again and have the same fate as their parents. So it's just all part wow. of that cycle that just keeps yeah. going and going. Now, even wow. though this great southern brood won't return for another 13 years, there is another smaller periodic emergence that's going to be taking place next year. However, it's not going to be as large and it won't spread in as many areas as this one was. We're all like sitting here like, we were, uh, we were all glued to that. That <laughs> oh was so gosh. fascinating. That was awesome. And Thank you know, years. some people are going to be glad they're gone and some people are going to miss <laughs> it. But we just have a couple more weeks to go with them. It's wow. the sounds of summer, right? That's right. Something like that. Thanks so much for being with us today.